Hey guys, it's Alina from Alphacine here and today I'm going to be unboxing the Sony a7 III including the Tamron 28-75mm to lens. And the special guest of today's video is Kitty Bear. So he's literally my best friend and he's going to be watching to see if I do everything all correctly. Let's get into it. We'll move on. Um, we'll move the lens away and we'll get into the Sony camera review. Unboxing. Open it up. That's what the box looks like. And look at this. This is all a bunch of user manuals that I'm never going to read. Put that away. And this just slides right open. The box, when I bought it from JB Hi-Fi, by the way, didn't even have any sticker on there that you need to cut up or open, which I thought it was weird because everything that's brand new and like never touched, never opened, never used before is supposed to have a seal on there. But this one didn't have one, so I'm thinking maybe it was used. I got the camera for $2,000. Minus, that's including the $100 JB Hi-Fi gift card that they give you. And that's Australian pr prices as well. So you, all you American fans are going to be able to get it for a way better deal. Okay, what we have here is this camera strap. So this is where you just attach to the camera. You can put it over your neck, or over your shoulder, whatever, and carry it like that. Next, inside the box. This is what the box looks like, by the way. I know the camera is in this department, but I'm going to keep that for later because I don't want to get to the best part yet. So this is just all the power cables, blah, 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 no one cares about. Wow, they have so many power cables. They even have this country. I don't know what country this is. I think it's the US. Okay. And now let's get for the main meal itself. Whoa, whoa. I was clumsy there nearly. Let's see if there's anything else that we need. Anything else that we can unbox. Of course there is. There's the charger that we connect the cables to. So this is like the wall adapter, the power brick. So that's that. And this is the camera battery, which is supposed to be amazing. This battery can supposedly get you get you up to 700 to 1000 pictures taken on one charge, which is roughly, roughly around six hours of photography use. And it can also do three hours of constant video recording just on this tiny battery. For cameras, that's amazing. The Nikon Z6, that can only do half. That can do like 300 to 400 photos and only one hour and 30 or 40 minutes of constant video recording. So this one just kills that camera in battery life. So this camera, the Sony a7 III, has a 24 megapixel sensor. It's a full frame camera. It has eye autofocus, which not only just works on humans, but it works on animals as well. So if you want to photograph a duck or a cat or a dog or even kitty bear here, it's going to lock onto its eyes just like a drone. It knows exactly where the eyes are. Therefore, all the facial details when you take the photo are going to be perfect. Everything around the eye, which is the face. So this is the camera. Okay, so one thing I've got to say about the camera right now, holding it in the hand, it feels like perfect fit. It just feels like... This was made to belong to fit right into your hand perfectly. I know some people have been complaining that the grip is not deep enough, but I find that the grip is perfect. Because I went to the shops and I held this camera before in my hand so I know what it feels like before I bought it just to see if I like it. If this is the camera for me to see if I like it. And I love it. Okay, I fell in love with this camera the first time I saw it. But I was having a battle in my head whether I should get the Nikon Z6 or this one. I ended up going for this one because the specifications compared to the Nikon and the way it works in real life is so much better than it. But the Nikon just had the, I don't know, just had the feel of the camera, the way it looked and the weather ceiling. And it just made me think that, oh, maybe I should go for that one. Even though I can just buy another battery for it. But then this one can do everything on one battery, but what the other one can do on two, which is dumb. So anyways, this is what it looks like. Sony a7 III from the front, from the back. That's an LCD screen and you can flip it upwards. So you can flip like this and like that. So for example, you put it upwards like that, flip the camera up. So if you take a photo like this, you can see exactly what's happening. Like if you're in a tight situation, you put it back and yeah, that's pretty much it guys. You just take off this cap and that's where you attach the lens full frame. So full frame pretty much means the bigger the sensor, the more light it's going to get. So you see the light you have right here in my room. You can't see it, but I can see it. It's just normal LED lights like you would have at any other house. This full frame sensor can handle 
absorbing more lights in than a normal small sensor like on the phone or a micro four thirds camera or an APS-C sensor camera. So that's really good. That means you need less lighting than what you would normally need to use in any other situation. Continuing off where I left off last time, they have this super cool thing on this camera. This button right here, I don't switch, whatever you want to call it. You just push it down and look at this. Bam. That is just like, it just screams quality. It just sounds so satisfying. Close it and then listen to it again. Look, that's how easy it is. Oh my goodness. You don't need to put your nail underneath and try to open it. It's so good. The battery goes right at the bottom here. You just push it to the lockdown. There you go. It's empty right now. Push it inside and pull it up, locked. If you go to the other side, you're gonna see a bunch of other ports. So this is my first time doing this. I don't really wanna break it. And there we go. They have like the microphone and headphone jacks here and they're all hidden underneath these ports like that. So that's pretty much it. And one thing I've got to mention about this camera, camera, it does have five axis in-body image stabilization, but because of the bigger sensor, it's the full frame, it doesn't work as well as other cameras, let's say the Olympus or the Panasonic. They, they have literally such good image stabilization that it's like holding a, like a tripod or a, like a gimbal. It's just so damn good. But this one, you can see a bit of shaking in the images and video, but it's still better than nothing. It's still really good compared to like a camera that doesn't have any image stabilization at all. So, also it has weather sealing, but also the one thing that sucks is that the weather sealing around the buttons on the top here and the bottom near the camera and this door on the right that I just showed you, sometimes water can get inside because it's not, they didn't do a good job on the weather sealing. The Nikon Z6, that's one thing that made me think about the other camera, is you literally you can go and pour water on it and nothing's going to get in. But this one, something's going to get in. But then again, who's going to go outside and like take photos of like wildlife when it's pissing down rain? You know, you're not going to be able to get a good photo out of that anyway. So that's the camera out of the way with. These are the manuals, we don't need them again. And now for the lens. I'm actually really excited about the lens because I read many, 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 many good things about it. This one is a cheaper version than Sony's GM Master Lens, the 28 to 71, or 24 to 80 to 71. So this one is supposed to be the alternative, but cheaper, but sometimes people say it's actually better. These are just manuals. Get them out of the way with, and get this beautiful bugger out. By the way, that's what the box looks like inside. So this is going to be a pain in the ass to get out. So I can tell already. And bam. Here we go. This is the lens. Wow. It's actually bigger than what I thought it would be. And it's heavy as well. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Nah, I'm not going to get it out. Of course I'll get it out. That's what the lens looks like. Holy crap. It's gigantic. <laughs> like when I was holding it in the shop, I thought it was way smaller. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at the glass though. That just looks good as. So, the one thing I want to talk about it, you can take this off. I'm definitely going to take this off. I'm not going to keep this on there. You can put it like this as well, you know. If you want to be one of those fancy photographers, look at me, look at me. Whatever. But you see, the glass at the end here, is really really wide so there's a lot of glass so you can see lenses sometimes have wide glass that goes edge to edge and sometimes they're like just in the middle but everything else is plastic the more glass there is here the more light it's going to absorb so the better that it is because the more lights the picture has the better quality it's going to be you can zoom into it like 10 20 30 times and it's not going to be decreasing in quality it's still going to be as sharp as you never zoomed into it so that's one benefit of it so i'm going to put this protector back on I'm going to uh, put it onto the Sony lens so you guys can see what it looks like with the lens and the camera together. So there we go. That's the Sony. This is the Sony lens. And this is literally my first time putting a lens and a camera kit together, guys, for this camera in particular. Oh, there we go. That was good to hear. And there you go. That's what it looks like. That's the camera and lens package. Look at it. Bam. From the side. From the front. From the other side. 
and you guys don't obviously need to see it from the back because then you can't see the lens but that's what it looks like i'll tell you right now holding it in my hand the weight is pretty good i can hold it in my hand and use it with one handily no problem but after i'd say about an hour or two it's going to be an issue because it's not as light as for example a phone or a micro four thirds camera so it is going to get heavy after a while but definitely if you're out like on a traveling or taking street photography and you just want to use it for every situation very quickly one hand bam 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 done you got it so i'm hoping you enjoyed this unboxing slash first impression of the video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and that's pretty much it that's the camera and i'm hopefully going to be using this to record my future videos and make them even better than what they are now Peace, guys. Enjoy your day, night, evening, wherever you live.